All right, everybody. Um, I am going to show you guys how to use Microsoft Word to update your seating chart. And I'm just going to go through a couple things and explain how the interface works. And hopefully, this will help you out. All right. Now, um, your seating charts could be saved on your computer, but for us, uh, Mrs. Danielson uh, has put them into uh, Teams. So look in Teams and under Pope Staff in Teams. So I click on my Teams, I click on Pope Staff, <clears throat> and then I go to Files. Okay, now in Files, they um, have these new scaled seating charts which have a watermark put in the back which shows how they um, are spaced out. Each square in the watermark is one foot. Okay, so I'm going to take out a sample and I'm going to look at this. We'll go into this one and grab one of these. Um, here's one. Uh, this one has not been updated, I guess. All right, so let's look at this one. And it's going to open up in Teams, which is actually in Word online. Okay, now you can't really edit these in the online version. You want to use, um, actually I'm gonna grab a different one that already has the, bo the boxes in it. Um, so in Teams, you cannot use the, um, the online app, you have to put it in the desktop app. So here we go again, I'm gonna go into here, and I believe this one has the boxes, uh, text boxes already put in there. All right, very good, this one's ready to go. All right, so um, I'm gonna show you guys how to <clears throat> edit these text boxes, and if you want to, put in your own. So as soon as you get it opened in Teams, um, which is an online, this is gonna be an online version of Microsoft Word, you wanna click on the top, open a desktop app, and then you'll be able to see the watermark and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so um, now it should be opening in Word, so I'm gonna to go to my Microsoft Word version, which is right here. Okay, so looking at my Microsoft Word. Now, if you look here, it says autosave is on, which means it's saving it into that Teams folder, which is what you would want. However, I'm not gonna save it into the Teams cult folder because that's not my stuff. So I'm going to uh, edit this and just do file, and I'm gonna save a copy and put it on my desktop so that I'm not messing with somebody else's work. Okay, so um, put it on the desktop, that's fine. All right, now let me show you how to do the, the text boxes. All right, now there's two ways to do it. The first way is if you click on here, you see this is one large text box. You can actually slide it around to make things fit where they wanna fit, okay? And they move around, you can go inside the box and you can edit it. Um, a nice way to do these, if you look at the box, there's in the one end of it and See if I can zoom in on this a little bit more. All right, on one end of the box, you can see that there is a pivot point and you can use that to turn the box so it can stand up straight and it makes it a little easier to space things out. So I could put in the next person by spacing it out and say, well, about right here would be the, where the next student is. Let me zoom back the other way and move this up. Now, if you, if you get these crosshairs, that means you can move the box. So you see where those, if you have those, you can move the box. If you go grab one of the boxes in the corner, you'll be making it larger or smaller. Um, you probably want to avoid that, so you don't want to move the box that way. And then you can put another student in, and I'll call this uh, student um, Fred. All right, so put this one in there, and then and I can turn it back again, and I can see how it fits. Okay, now a couple other things about the text box. You see when I hit enter, um, 
what happened was it made it go to a second line. If I don't hit enter, let's show you that. If I do not hit enter, um, I'm gonna go to Fred and I'm gonna backspace and just put a space there. And what happens is now yeah, it'll just put the next name on the next line automatically. Okay, so that's a nice, easy, tidy way. And then you can turn it again and fit it back in and see if they can land them on the blue dots. Now they don't have to be perfect, but you could get it as close as you want. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could hit another enter in between, maybe make it a little bit, make it fit a little better. And then you can play around with it and just get them to land as close as you can to the, the seats as you, as you possibly can. Okay, so that is one way to do it. And the text boxes, if you need another one, uh, let's put that one back. If you need another text box, what I would do is um, I would go on the text box and I would just do control or just, you could right click and do copy and then paste. And what will happen is it'll make another one. And then what you can do is just change the names in it. That's a quick way to make another box, okay? And if you need to make it longer, so I could take this box and stretch it out, and, and now it'll fit the whole entire row and I could put them in. Now, in the box, there you can do it any way you want to. So what I can do in this box is, like say, they're not fitting very well. What I can do is I could take all the text in the box and highlight it and maybe just take it down one font size and then might, and maybe it'll fit a little bit better. So you can move, you can adjust that as well to make it, try and make things fit in there and that looks a little bit better. And then I can make a little, I could take that, make it a font size nine and then put a space in and then it fits even a little bit better. So there's lots of ways to edit these things, okay? Um, and play around with these boxes. You can move them anywhere you want to, and you can get it to fit however you want to. Okay, all right, so that was one way to do it. Now, if you want to do it a different way, another way to do it would be this, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna edit this same one. So I'm just gonna, I'll just stay in this same file. I was gonna use a different file, but I'll stay in this one. So I'm gonna move these guys off to the side for now. And I'll put this one here, move them over here, and move these ones over here. And if you have um, other students that are virtual, you can make a text box like I'm doing here and set it off to the side and put your virtual students on the side. All right, so another way to do it would be this. You can actually make your own text boxes. So I could do insert, and if you click insert, um, you can, find the text box, where is it? There it is, right here, insert text box, okay? And I'm just gonna click it. And we're gonna just draw a nice, quick text box. And where did it put it? Oh, draw a text box. So we'll make one here. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this one right here. All right. Now the default on a text box is that it has um, a background. To make that go away, you don't have to, but to make it go away, you can click on the box, you can right click the box. Oh. And then you could do format shape. See where it says down here, format shape. So what I did was I right click on the side of the box. So it's not, so I'm not in the um, inside the box. Format shape. And then if you see here, you could change the fill to no fill. And that makes a box, okay, with no fill in it. All right, now um, I'm going to set the font size maybe at 10, okay. And then what I can do is if I'm gonna put 20 kids in the class, I click on the box so I'm not high, I, and then I can do, copy, that was the wrong one. Click on the box, copy, 
and then I can make more of them. So here's another one and then make another one. You can see they pop up on the left side there, make another one. And I was doing this earlier and they always popped up on the left side for some reason. So sometimes, sometimes they pop up kind of halfway on top of the other one. But what you can do is you can line them up like this. And then if you want, you could take these kids names. I could take Caden Willis, put it in here. And I, now I just have a Caden Willis box and I can just, slide Caden Willis wherever I need to put him. So I can just set him on here. And this is just another way to, and I could take this one, Nicholas Leonardo, and I could put this one here, pop in there. And then uh, if I need to make the box a little bigger, I could do that. And I could set Nicholas Leonardo where I need to set him. Oops. Um, put him here. And if I need to turn, I can turn it another way if I want to set them this way I can do that so what it does is it really makes it very flexible and another this is just another way to do it so you can do the boxes really whatever way works best for you to put them on top of the um, spots they need to be in um, you can do it that way and then this is another nice clean way to turn in your seating chart which is perfect because now for contact tracing, they know that this student is exactly two feet away from this student because there's two feet of blocks under the, under the seats. Okay, so um, I hope that helps. Um, and if remember, this is a video, obviously, so if you didn't get something, you can always rewind, go back. Um, you can pause it as you're working and just use any of this to uh, help you out as far as putting things where they need to go. Okay, all right, so um, one other thing I wanted to show you was a nice one thing you might wanna do is if you click on the, the box, you right click on a box, and what you do is you get one box that you have exactly the way you want it. Click on the box, and if you do uh, wrap text, and you want it to be either in front of the text or, um, behind the text, you do not want it to be, so it's best to put those text boxes in front of the text. I just wanna make sure that, that you were aware of that. If you put it um, some, some other way, what it's gonna do is when you slide those boxes around, it's gonna move the text that you have on your page, which is kind of a mess. Okay, so um, hopefully this helps. And if you have any questions, um, obviously um, you can talk to me or one of the administrators. Um, I'm Mr. Groneveld, I'm in room uh, 315 and the administrators are obviously all around the school. So um, hope this helps and and you're ready to go.